Okay, so we're going to write the equation of some parabolas. Um, these are going to be centered at the origin. You can see that the vertex here is at 0, 0. There's not a point there, but you can kind of see that. Um, it's on the line also with the focus, which is on that x-axis. So in this case, we need to understand that this is opening to the right, which means that um, P is going to be positive. Uh, also, because it's opening to the right, that means it's BFF with the x. So um, your P value or your 4P value is going to be with the x. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to count. I'm going to say, okay, I've got one, two, three units. So P is going to be positive three. Um, the vertex is at zero, zero. So if P equals three, then that means 4P has to equal 12. So I'm going to think about putting 12 with the X because I moved in the X direction for my focus, my P value. And then I'm going to put this equal to Y squared. And I've got nothing with my X or my Y squared because the vertex is at zero, zero. I don't need to put Y minus zero or X minus zero. Easy peasy. Checking out this next one. So we're just going to kind of go with the rule that if the point is in between two lines and not on a line, we're going to just assume it's at a 0.5. Um, just because we're not going to be able to exactly tell where it is, we're going to assume everything's at 0.5. So here, this p-value is going to be down 1.5. So since it's down and this is opening down, that means p is going to be negative. So negative 1.5 which means that 4p is going to be negative 1.5 times 4, which is negative 6. Now, because that p value is in the y direction, p and y are BFF, so we're going to put that p value with the y. The vertex is at 0, 0, so we don't have to plug in anything with our parentheses with our x's and y's. So if p is with y, the other variable is the one that's squared. Here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and try some that are not centered at the origin, just one of each here. We're going to graph this parabola, okay, a couple of different things to start noticing. Um, I've got values inside the parentheses with my x and my y. Uh, my p value, my 4p value is negative 8, so that means that this is going to open either down or to the left. Because this is with the y, that means it's going to be opening down. Now the vertex, the vertex um, comes from the opposite. So if I have x plus four, that means that my x value is negative four. And if I have y minus two, that means the y value is two. Now we're not gonna figure out what the focus, directrix, and axis of symmetry are until we um, sketch our graph. Uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and figure out what that p value is by taking four p equals negative eight, which means that p is negative two. That's matching up with that down. So if I go ahead and I sketch my vertex here at negative 4, positive 2, and I know that my parabola is going to open down, so I'm going to sketch my parabola opening down. Now because p is negative 2, I know p has to be down here somewhere. So if I go down 2, I'm going to put my focus right there. You always go straight up, down, left, or right from your vertex. My directrix is going to be in the opposite direction, so I'm going to go up 2, and then I'm going to put that horizontal line. And remember that the directrix never ever touches or crosses your parabola, so we can um, know which way it goes. It's going to be horizontal so it doesn't touch. So now I can go fill these out. Well, my focus, this ordered pair right here, is negative 4, 0. And this directrix, this horizontal line, hoi, means that it's y equals 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to really rely on our graph a lot to figure this stuff out. Now, the last piece is my axis of symmetry, which, remember, connects your vertex to your focus. And that's going to be a vertical line. And that means a box, so x equals, and then we count, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, because we went to the left. So let's try to go ahead and write an equation of a graph where the vertex is now not centered at the origin. So we can see that the um, focus is right here. So we're going to say that the vertex is this piece right here. So if we want to figure out what P is, well, that's going to be the distance from the vertex to your focus, which is just 1. And because it's to the right, that means it's going to be a positive 1. The vertex, this ordered pair, is 1, 2, 3 to the right, 1, 2 up. So 3, 2. Now because the P value, uh, 4 times P equals 4, because the p-value is moving to the right, that means it's going in the x-direction. So that my um, p 
my 4p, has to be with my x. Okay, so look at what I've done there. I know that it's a p equals 1, which means 4p is 4. I went in the right direction, which is x, so I put it with the x. Notice that I left spaces here with my parentheses because I have to insert my vertex. So the vertex, the x coordinate is 3, so inside with the x, I'm going to put minus 3. Watch that, make sure you matchy matchy x. And then over here, my y is 2, so I'm going to put y minus 2. Okay, so we're going to write the equation um, from just given information. Honestly, I think one of the best things to do is to draw yourself a little sketch so you can really understand where these pieces are coming from. So if the vertex is at 0, 0 and the focus is at 0, 3, well, what does that mean? The vertex is at 0, 0, the focus is at 0, 3, so it's going to be up, which means that focus right there has to be inside the mouth of the parabola, so the parabola has to be opening up. Okay, so now if this is 0 and this is 3, that's telling me that P equals 3. So if P equals 3, then that means 4P equals 12. Why am I writing crooked? Um, now P is in the up direction, which means it's going to be matching up with Y. So I'm going to have 12. The focus, I'm sorry, the vertex is at 0, 0, but we can just kind of get in the habit of doing this. Okay, so that 12 came from the P equals 3 being positive multiplying by 4. Because the P went up, because the focus went up, that's telling me that I am in the Y direction, which is why I put the 4P with the Y. And that meant the other one, the X, is what's squared. So now the vertex is 0, 0, so X is 0 and Y is 0. You're not ever going to leave it like that. We would just simplify that to X squared equals 12Y. Okay, so what if it's not centered at the origin? Same idea, draw yourself a little sketch. You could get some graph paper if you want to. Doesn't have to be perfect, just gotta understand where all the pieces are. So the vertex is at one, three, which is gonna be here. And the directrix is at x equals five. So that's an x equals a vux. So one, two, three, four, five. So here's the directrix. So if the vertex is here and the directrix is there, remember that it, the directrix always has to be behind the parabola. Can't touch it, can't cross it. That means my parabola has to be opening to the left. Well, what we have to figure out is that p-value. That p-value is the distance from your vertex to your directrix. So what is this? One, two, three, that's four. So that's telling me that p equals negative four. Ooh, wow, where did that negative come from? Okay, that negative came from the fact that my parabola is opening up to the left. Now, my p is in the x direction, so I have to take my 4p, which is now going to be negative 16, and I'm going to pair that with my x. And then I'm going to set up my y, and that one's going to be squared, because it's not with the p. So now I'm just going to take the vertex and I'm going to plug it in. So if x is 1, I've got to put the minus 1. It's always going to be the opposite. And if the y is 3, I'm going to put minus 3. And there we go. We got all our pieces. Okay, so last problem here, word problem. It says the Euro dish developed to provide electricity in remote areas uses a parabolic reflector to concentrate sunlight from above onto a high efficiency engine located at the reflector's focus, which is set 4.5 meters above the ground. The sunlight heats helium to 650 degrees Celsius to power the engine. So A, write an equation for the Euro's dish cross section with its vertex at ground level, zero, zero, if the total length across the reflector is 8.5 meters. So we're going to draw ourselves a little sketch here. Okay, so that vertex is at zero, zero. Okay, that focus it's telling us essentially, that reflector's focus is 4.5 above. So above is telling us that we're going to go up. Now the total length across the reflector is 8.5 meters. So that's telling me if this parabola is opening up, the total length across it, this total length right here, is 8.5. And this length right here was 4.5. So if we just think about writing the equation, that 8.5 is really irrelevant to us right now. What we need to recognize is that P is 4.5. So if P is 4.5, then 4P is going to be 18. Now that P value is in the Y direction. It's going up, which means it's positive, and it's Y, so it has to be best friends with the Y, so we're gonna put those together. Now because it's centered at the origin, I would have Y minus zero, which is 
not necessary, which means that x is squared. So this is going to be my equation that represents the cross section of the Euro dish. So now how deep is the dish? So what we need to understand is, well, what's that even asking? How deep is the dish? Is really asking us for this right here, okay? For that y value. Now, if we understand that parabolas are symmetrical and this total distance right here is 8.5, then ask yourself, what's this distance right here? 4.25. Okay, now where did that come from? That came from taking 8.5 and dividing by 2. So really, all we're doing here, we can kind of blow up this, this piece. Okay, we're just kind of looking at this piece right here. This distance is 4.25, and this distance right here is y. So this is my x, which is 4.25. So if we have an equation that represents this cross section, and I'm seeing that my x is 4.25, ask yourself, what can I do? Well, we can take 4.25, which is our x value, and we can plug that in for x here. So 4.25 squared equals 18y. So type that in your calculator, divide by 18. You're going to get a really tiny number. Let's go ahead and round to three decimal places, and we're going to see 1.00 three meters, because we're talking about meters.